Hello engineers, here we are with our new video and in this video we are going to discuss about the most useful websites for engineers. Doesn't matter from which engineering background you are but these upcoming websites are going to help you a lot. Whether you are an engineering student or working in an industry, these upcoming websites will be very very helpful for you. Why it will be helpful for you? Let's suppose that you are reading any particular topic from your textbook and these textbooks are printed a years ago. I know these textbooks are reprinted, I know that and I am not saying that these textbooks are not going to help you in your curriculum but sometimes I have seen that the language is used by the author in that textbooks are little bit tough to understand by the students and sometimes we are not able to understand from the books. So what you can do, you can simply refer these websites. Why? First of all, you will learn something interesting, something new from these websites and the language used in these websites are very simple I, or I can say a layman language is used in these websites okay and the examples are used in these websites are industry oriented okay so that's why you must use these websites okay so let's see what is our first website which every engineering student or working engineers must use the first website is a wikipedia okay i hope that you have heard about the wikipedia the wikipedia is the first websites which every engineer must use so whether you are an engineering student or working in an industry this website you must use why this website is must use let's suppose you are a mechanical engineer and you want to learn about the pump it may be centrifugal pump gear pump, reciprocating pump, piston pump, you want to learn about the pump, you can learn from the Wikipedia. In a simple and layman language, from the scratch to advance, you can learn about the pump from the Wikipedia. Let's suppose you are an electrical engineer or electronics engineer and you want to learn about the transformer, you want to learn about the types of transformer, you want to learn about the efficiency of the transformer, then you can simply learn it from the Wikipedia. Let's suppose you are an environmental engineer, you are a chemical engineer and you have assigned some project, right? So you want to do some research, you can easily refer the Wikipedia, okay? So let's see the Wikipedia first. Here we are at the home of the Wikipedia, okay? This is the home page of the Wikipedia. Welcome to Wikipedia. What I feel that or what I can say, Wikipedia is a knowledge hub for every engineer. For everyone, I'll say, okay, not only engineers use the Wikipedia, but if you are fond of reading, you can refer the Wikipedia. Not only engineering stuff, you can learn any knowledge you can take from the Wikipedia. Okay, let's suppose you are interested in politics, you can learn from the Wikipedia. Okay, so here we will stick with the engineering and let's suppose I am saying about the centrifugal pump. If you want to learn about the centrifugal pump, I have only written centrifugal so see here in this search engine centrifugal centrifugal force centrifugal compressor centrifugal fan centrifugal pump okay I want to learn about the centrifugal pump so here you can see in contents history how it works vertical centrifugal pumps fourth pumps multi-stage centrifugal pumps energy uses problem of centrifugal pump centrifugal pumps for solid control magnetically coupled pumps priming what is priming see also these are the references okay and what is the benefit of using the wikipedia let's suppose you are reading here about the centrifugal pump okay and there is one terms comes that is turbo machinery and you do not know about the turbo machinery okay same see here here is written that a centrifugal fan and you do not know about the centrifugal fan so you can simply click here and you can also learn about the centrifugal fan. Got it my point? So this is the completely and very genuine engineering hub or knowledge hub for the engineers. And I recommend that must use websites for the engineers or the engineering student. What you can do if you have an Android, so you can simply download its app. You can sign up, create your account and simply learn from here and if you are experienced person so you want to contribute something here you want to add some knowledge you can also do that 
got it my point so that's why the wikipedia is one of the most or one of the best website which every engineer must learn got it my point now what is the second website so before going to the second website i would like to say to you if you like our content if you like our video so you can simply like this video you can share this video with your friends so you can simply subscribe our youtube channel for more interesting engineering stuff okay now the second website is engineering.com why engineering.com is the second website how a engineer can use these website let's see that this is the home page of the engineering.com okay i do not need to tell you more about the engineering.com because as the name consists engineering.com let's suppose you are found of reading about the aerospace and defense buildings and infrastructure electronics energy and environment hardware healthcare and technology manufacturing etc you can learn from the engineering.com i am found of reading about the electronics okay in electronics what you want to learn about components about consumers okay you can learn here why these websites are important these websites are important because from textbook you will only learn the concepts you will only learn that syllabus which is like repeating from the years ago but if you will use these websites so you will get to know that what is happening in the current world so you will learn that what is happening in the world what is happening in your country what is happening in surrounding okay you will learn that what are the innovations right now where the scientists and where the companies are working okay in your particular field these websites are very very interesting and very very important to use for you okay let's suppose i am a student of chemical engineer or a electrical engineer so the non renewable i can read about the non renewable energy about the renewable energy i can read the articles here that is very very useful for me i hope you got my point what i want to say okay these website will keep you up to date these website will make you apart from class got it my point so that's why these website you must use okay so the next website is slide share okay i hope you have heard the name of the slide share or maybe you have used it what is the application of this slide share in this slide share you can read about the any topic okay you can read about the any topics so what you will find here you will find the presentation of that topic okay what you can do you can simply sign up and if you are in like experienced person you can add some topics presentation so you can also add that topics presentation here how let's suppose i want to learn about the any particular topic let's suppose i want to learn about the safety i want to learn about the safety click here so journal safety presentation i can see here i can see in the slides here this is the slide of the workplace safety guidelines okay here you can see 31 slides are there you can read these slides one by one and you can download it from here right and if you want to upload some web like some presentations and some engineering stuff you know so you can simply upload here which others engineer can learn got it my point so that's why the slide share is another website which you must use now in the last i'll highly recommend you nptel why nptel is in this list what is nptel do you know about the nptel if you are a engineering student or you are a engineer so this is very 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 important website for you if you are a engineering student then i'll highly recommend you to go through from the nptel okay nptel has a website as well as nptel has a their youtube channels okay why nptel is important because this is the online learning initiatives by the iits and isc IIT is Indian Institute of Technology one of the best engineering institute in the India as well as in the world their professor will teach you about the topics okay let's suppose you are a mechanical engineer so IIT is mechanical engineering department professor will teach you if you are a chemical engineer so chemical engineering department teacher will teach you here okay and 
this is the like from the IIT Bombay, IIT Delhi, IIT Kanpur, IIT Kharagpur, IIT Guwahati, IIT Roorkee, Madras and ISC Bangalore. That's why this website is one of the best website for engineering student or if you are working let's suppose if you are a working in an industry after that also you can use this website and there are also some like there are list of courses from any branch you are the list of courses are here which you can join if you are an engineering student here you can see based on the discipline there are so many courses which you can do from here okay from the iit if you will read their article if if you will watch their video of any particular topic your mind will be blow because the content efficiency is there apart from class very very highly effective because the iit's professors are teaching here okay that's why i always i always recommend my students nptel every time if you want to read heat transfer electric traction control system whatever the topic you want to read whatever the topic you want to complete whatever the subject you want to study in your curriculum you can study from the nptel right that's why i always recommend my students that please go through the nptel website or nptel youtube channel right so i will request you that please go through from these websites for one month and then tell me that how useful was these websites for you right so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning